Hello and welcome back. In this short lecture, we're going to learn about how to create a new alias. So to get the alias, normally we uh, we use the command let get hyphen alias, and this would actually list the different commands. Uh, for example, if I type dir, or uh, dir is one of the alias. If you can look at here, dir somewhere it would be listed as the uh, one of the uh, command for the get hyphen child item that's the get hyphen child item so this is one of the alias what if, if you want to create your own uh, own alias uh, so what we can do is uh, maybe you know sometimes you know we might not be uh, comfortable f uh, to uh, type all the command or we wanted a shortcut for example I want to um, store XYZ uh, just for the DIR purpose maybe example maybe it, it might be hard for me to you know remember example maybe uh, invoking a web request uh, altogether this would be a uh, used in the Linux or Unix environment wget but uh, in the Windows uh, we have to type as the invoke hyphen web request so instead if I want to you know what if I ever want to uh, save as the WR uh, maybe example so what I have to do is uh, I have to create a new alias if I want to you know set it as that uh, so uh, I can simply type new hyphen alias and the name of that uh, alias in this case uh, it's going to be uh, uh, in this case it's the new alias name uh, I can give here as uh, for example I want to do take it for the web request so w web r I can see so and the actual uh, name uh, in this case uh, it would be my uh, request uh, which is in this case uh, web get is the an another alias so for this I'm gonna give us a value so it's gonna create it now if I just go back to the um, get hyphen alias uh, this time I I'm going to get as the web r uh, also listed as an invoke web request so either you can you know call as a web kit or web r both ways it's gonna work so this is how you're gonna actually use your alias uh, creation I hope this is useful for you thank you for watching this